Hey, what is up everyone? So you have a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 or Note 9 and you wanna enable USB debugging mode. Well, first thing you gotta do is go ahead and enable the developer options, okay? So follow, scroll down like this. We're gonna to go to your settings icon, top right-hand corner here. Let me focus on there, right there. And now from here, you wanna scroll all the way up to the very, very bottom and it says about phone. Tap on about phone. Now tap on software information. And now we says where it says build number, we need to tap that seven times. Just keep tapping it like this, four more times, three more times, two more times, one more time, one more. Now developer mode has been turned on. Now if you have, a, I don't have a password on this phone. If you have a password, you have to put that password in the last part, and then your developer options will be enabled. Now from here, what we what we want to do is go ahead and enable USB debugging. So now what we've got to do is go ahead and click on back here click on back again, and remember the last one was about phone, but now if we go scroll up a little bit more, the last one now is developer options. Tap on developer options, and then you wanna look for USB debugging. Here it is, just like that. Click on okay right there, and your, D, your USB debugging is now enabled. Now if you ever wanted to disable the developer options for USB debugging, you simply go back into it just like this, Go back into your settings here. And then we'll click on developer options down here. And now we can simply go ahead and toggle it off. And now it is gone. And if we want to enable the developer options again to get into USB debugging, we have to go through the entire process again. You gotta click on about phone. Then you gotta go to software information. Then you gotta keep tapping your build number again. And now it's enabled. Now I can go back here back again, and then I have that one more developer options at the very bottom now. Tap on that, and I have to go back into USB debugging. So I think you got the message. If you didn't, just go ahead and comment below and I'll help you guys out. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.